Hello, today I'm going to do elf ears. I was doing this look for my daughter, she was playing Dungeons and Dragons and I thought I'll do the video at the same time. So here we go. Before we start, please like, subscribe and click the bell button to know when I post. I make a variety of time lapses, makeup tutorials and product reviews. So if that's what you enjoy, this is the channel for you. I got the ears from PXP Professional Colors. Um, they are called Elf and Oren. Not, sh not sure how to pronounce it properly. Um, but as every other product that you have ready, you need to adjust to the uh, face, to the part of the body that you're attaching it to. Obviously, the first step is take away everything what's on the way, in this case it's hair. It's nearly impossible to have a ready product and be matching to the ear, in this case. So I'm cutting the ear a little bit and then keep adjusting it all the time. So I keep a little bit at the time and then if I feel that I need to cut it a bit more, I cut it a bit more. And I cut out uh, triangles so um, it, when I connect it together, the lower part will be a bit narrower. Also inner parts will go inside of the ear and the sides will go to this more second part. I'm going to use Maron Spirit Gum for gluing the ear itself. And then I'm going to use latex to add additional layers to connect it all together without seams. So first of all, I'm using a brush to apply a thin layer of spitted gum to the parts of the ear that's going to be connected to the fake ear. And then I'm waiting till it starts to be sticky. Then placing the fake ear on the top and um, kind of squeezing it together. It should be glued, glued on easily. Um, I decided that I want to get rid of certain parts that are sticking out a bit too much for me because of the thickness. So I'm cutting them again and because the ear itself already glued to the uh, fake ear uh, I'm starting to apply in latex and then place a toilet roll or toilet paper layer over the top. I need to wait a little bit between layers because otherwise the paper will rip off and that will create an unneeded clumps of paper. In this video I was trying to go a bit faster so it's not very even, it's not as even as it should be but I wasn't waiting full time till the paper dries. I'm extending the fake ear with the paper at the same time attaching to the real ear. I'm trying not to emphasize onto the area where it's actually attaching, where it's the edge. I'm trying to go a bit further both ways, both on fake ear on on the real ear, so the edge is not that much visible.
When I'm happy with all of my transitions, I'm powdering everything. So even if case if it's not dried enough, um, there is a powder that sh that covers all the sticky areas. Then I'm using a concealer, which is matching color to the actual skin. And next step is adding shadows and highlights. Obviously shadows will go into the inside of the ear in all indents and highlights, a little bit lighter and shadow will go on the outer area sticking out parts. If I would go for some scary characters, I would add more purpley, darkish um, shadows, maybe some veins, depending on who I'm going to create. So the ears itself are done, but because I'm going to go for pink decorations, I'm going to also color hair pink. And I'm going to use just regular face paint, which is lighter than the hair color. Um, it is not going to be light anyway, but it's going to add this pink shadow, not shadow, pink tint to the hair. Most of my designs are heavily um, dependent on um, outlining, so I usually use a very few simple one strokes and then add in uh, nice wavy outlines. By the way, 
If you like one stroke technique or you would like to learn it, there is a Facebook group for you which is called One Stroke Beauty. You can find a lot of inspiration there or you can show your work. There is also a special chart for you at the top of the group where you can find artists who inspire the whole world with their one stroke designs. You can tick all the artists that inspire you or you can add your own one if they are not there. So here we go, the design is ready, I hope you like this tutorial. This is actually very easy, the only thing you need some time and um, patience. <laughs> okay. If you are on Instagram, pop in into one of my accounts and say hello. I do arts and crafts, face painting, creative makeup and healthy food and travel. I hope to see you there!